Hello, I'm Paul here. Today I'm going to be talking about the same strategy that I've been talking about the last couple videos. This video I'm going to be going over the stock market. Now, um, uh, this video might be a little bit longer than usual because I want to go over the method that I've been talking about. Now, uh, I, I have a setup video. Make sure you watch that because I go more in depth on how to set that up. It requires two paid indicators. Uh, one in which there's a workaround, so it's up to you guys, but definitely you need the buyers versus sellers indicator with uh, Trade Confident in order for this strategy to work like I, I'm demonstrating on video. But today I'm going to be talking about the stock market. I want to go over two scenarios where you're doing options contracts with this strategy and where you do, you could do, trade it if you want to, like regular, but you know, when you... When you trade it, you basically can only do it when it goes up. So you need to look for all the moments when it goes up. So uh, we're going to use this two paid indicator strategy for the stock market. Uh, I might just, I'll just look at the S P 500. Uh, I'll just do an example of the S P 500 today, but you know, you can do this with any other stock as well. But today to keep this video relatively short, I'm probably just going to be focusing on S P 500. So let's first look at how to set this up, how to look for moments with the S&P 500. Now, the reason why I focus on the S&P 500 with this method, it's very easy to see uh, when the buyers become sellers and the sellers become buyers uh, with the strategy. So uh, with the S&P 500, it becomes very visual in the indicators when to get in. So let me show you how to set everything up. Okay, so this is the setup is the same as the last couple videos. You need your Ghost Market Pro here to get the 9095. Now, if you don't want the Ghost Market Pro paid indicator, there's a workaround. You just have to go to your indicators and look for CM. Okay, so it's CMA trend bars, and you click that twice, and you enter the settings 90 and 95. That is how you do it without Ghost Market Pro. So it's up to you guys which, which way you want to do it. And then you got to have the buyers for sellers in order for this to work. So this is the only um, asset here where I do it on a lower time frame. I do it on the hour. I start with the hour. And the reason why I do it on a lower time frame is when you're doing options, you're, you only have a week contract unless you buy more. But you have only a week to find a good signal. This is why I do it on the hour. So it's a pretty simple strategy if you want to do options here. If we look at the S&P 500, you want to get in when the sellers become buyers and the buyers become sellers. You can use the 9095 to see the overall trend, but if you look at the buy, it, it becomes very easy to see uh, with the buyers versus sellers indicator. See, we can see all those moments are right here. This is the time when the sellers become buyers in this scenario here. So if you look on this on the hour here, you basically will, you would come in and I would do an in the money contract. And I would come in right about here. If you see it, that's where it shifts between sellers to buyers. So what you do is you buy your contract and you write it out. So you can write it out for a day, and in one day here, this is one day of doing this. Uh, I might be wrong on my numbers, but I think this is about $851. I don't know for sure. Uh, it could be half. I don't know. But uh, for the sake of these videos, let's just say this is $851 because you made a $8 difference in price. So this is about $851. So there's another scenario here where I kind of want to go over real quickly. It's what do you do if it is hanging up here in, you know, you know, it's staying in the up, you know, it's staying in the buyer zone or it stays in the sell zone for a little bit, and you kind of want to, you want kind of want to find a move in between this. This is when I would go to a shorter time frame. So from looking at this on the hour, this is the only time I go to a shorter time frame. The only time in trading with this strategy that I do a shorter time frame. 
If you look at the buyers versus sellers, if you miss this right here, and you kind of want to get in somewhere around here, you know that the trend is going up. So what you have to do is go to a smaller time frame, let's just say a 15 minute. And you would have to wait for it to come down and dip a little bit and then come back. That point is right here. So that this would have been your, it won't be as much, but it'll be, It'll be a little a little scalp here. I mean, this one is $166, I believe, for the trade. Now, if you caught it on the hour, you would have made more money. So that is this is the only time I go to a shorter time frame. But let's look at a couple of other scenarios here. Let's just go back here a bit. The first thing you want to do is you want to look for the moment it goes from green to red or red to green you want to make sure that yellow line is headed either down or up so the next entry point would have been somewhere right around here you see it happen right here that would have been your next entry point and you can see that's kind of around it's kind of around here right around here so you would rather this out i would do a in the money contract for about $475, and I would ride this out, wouldn't take long, and this is about $467. So anyway, you just keep going through here, and you keep coming in. If you're doing, if you're doing options contracts, you just basically come in when the yellow line crosses and goes from seller to buyer, or buyer to seller. It's very easy to see when you're when you're dealing with uh, the S&P 500. So it comes in right here. You see the enter. So right about here would be where you enter. And you just write it out. And this is a $642 uh, gain in a couple hours there. So that's kind of how you do it when you're doing options. Now, when you want to do something like you just want to trade, and uh, you can you could find a lot of good stocks, but you can only focus on when it's going up. If you don't want to do options and you just want to trade the asset, you can only focus when it's going up. So there's there's a ton of stocks that you can focus on doing this method with. Uh, one thing I like looking for is micro strategy, which is connected to Bitcoin. Now, for this purpose uh, purpose of this. Uh, if you want to do an options contract, let's go to MicroStrategy real quick. If you want to do an options contract for MicroStrategy, it's going to cost a lot. I'll just tell you that much. So I've made videos on MicroStrategy and option contracts, so just watch those. Uh, I just want to go over the strategy of, of how to find the moments when MicroStrategy is going back up. Or I'm going to go look at a couple stocks here, and we're, we're going to see moments of when it goes up. And lately, because it's connected to Bitcoin, it hasn't been it hasn't been very often. So hasn't been often because Bitcoin's been going down, so MicroStrategy's been going down. But when it does start going back up, you can get some good percentage gains. You can could have come in right here. I think this is the end of the market here. Yeah, that's the end of a market. So let's not do that one. You want to wait for it to go from sellers to buyers. We could do a moment like right here. Right here. And this is a 3%. So basically you just find all the moments it goes up. Whatever stock you want to do. And you trade it when it goes up. So I want to kind of go... go uh, point out some good stocks that I look for for a good percentage. You know, when MicroStrategy goes up, it's going to be some pretty good percentage gains, but that hasn't been recently. Uh, let's just look at some other ones. I think this one is called, here's Matterport, which this one, this one has a lot of good percentage. If you could find a lot of good pumps with this one, I'm going to show you here. This one is Matterport, so look into it if you want. Uh, I've got some shares in Matterport, and I, I I do look for moments where it's going to go up. So if we if we look at this point right here, 
we see the sellers become buyers around this point right here and we just ride it out this moment right here is a five percent gain let's just see if we can find any more that when it's going up not down here's a good one right here you see the sellers become buyers at this point and what you do is you come in and just ride this whole thing out and this one right here took five days and this was a 14% increase. So you get, you got to find a lot of good moments. Uh, what I would focus on right now for high percentage gains, if I'm just trading when it's going up, I would find a lot of stocks that are connected to Bitcoin. And I think I'll leave a list below in my description of all the ones that I found, all the ones I found that are connected to Bitcoin and what you want to do is as soon as you know when the bull run starts those, those percentages are just going to get bigger but you can definitely ride a lot but i i find a lot i i try to find a lot of stocks that are connected to bitcoin because those will give uh, kind of like the best returns and percentages but that's basically all you do if you don't want to do options you focus on all the moments where a certain stock goes up uh, by looking at your buyers and sellers, let's just go back to the S&P 500 real quick. Now, there's two ways of trading the S&P 500. You can do it on Robinhood. And this is the only uh, method here where if you do it on Robinhood, you're going to have to buy contracts. So you have an expiration of usually about a week. But you can, you can go and trade it. Uh, you could trade SPY on Forex, which is the S&P 500, and you won't have to worry about contracts. So you can ride things out for a lot longer. So it's whichever way you guys want to do it. But anyway, that's kind of how you do it with uh, the stocks. Um, I'm not really going to go into many of them, but just I focus on the ones. I focus on the S&P 500 because it really, if you look at the S&P 500 over... Let's just do weekly here. If you want to look at the path of the S&P 500, it, it it goes up pretty frequently. It it has dips, but the dips aren't as bad as Bitcoin. So you can really find a lot of moments where it goes up. And that's why a lot of my focus goes into trading the S&P 500. And I find that with the buyers and sellers here... now. The best result that I could see here is do it on the hour. You want to do it on the hour. You want to look for the moments to where the, the sellers become buyers and the buyers become sellers if you're doing a option contract. If you're not, then you need only focus on the moments where that stock is going up. But anyway, that's how you do this strategy with um, these two paid indicators. Uh, I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to start doing a lot of options contracts with this strategy, so I will be updating you guys uh, as I go to see see how effective this actually has been for me. So anyway, these are the main three uh, the main three that I use for the strategy. You know, the crypto. I, you know, I covered crypto, forex, and stocks. There's still one more method that I'm going to be using this strategy for, and uh, th that's going to be in the next video uh so anyway other than that uh if you guys like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in future videos